Okay, here's the Duchess of Athol. 320 quid total it's cost me. Very expensive speaker. Lock sound. The loco wasn't cheap. And I'm going to demonstrate, and you can hear the sound is absolutely superb. Make some sound. And you can hear, it makes a few great sounds. Uh, what we're talking about is the effect of sound on a model railway. Now, I've used a statement, it's like four stereos in a room, so you spent all that money on the Duchess of Athol, and in isolation it's fantastic. But what I've been saying is, is you spend all this money and then you run three or four locos and you wonder where your money is. Watch this video and make a choice for yourself. Anyway, would you like to get the app Duchess of Athol moving please? Move it round the track. And, and I hope you can hear, the sound is superb. Okay, you can hear the Duchess of Athol, you can hear the sound. If we can slow it down a little bit, please. And you can hear, admittedly, it is superb. Just coasting. Do you want to sound the horn, please? And you can hear the sounds of, as you would expect, from £320 worth of locomotive. And if you're going to get up to the carriages in the station, please. And would you like to stop the loco and just hook the carriages to the back? You can put the controller down. I'm not going to stop this video, I'm going to keep it running, warts and all, so you can see what goes on. There we go. Problem there was a couple of the carriages in the station where they've been shunted in before and stops have become decoupled which is fine so here we are now we're running this and do you want to close the point please with, with just five carriages now we'd like to get the pointer and show where the vent van is please so here we've got a Hornby vent van. If you can turn that on, please. Remember, you've got to flick it onto digital on the control at the bottom. Now this is a Hornby vent van. And you start adding more noise. 
So you can add three sounds. So you put three sounds on you. So there we have three sounds from the Hornby Vent van. Now, can we run the Castle Class locomotive, please? In fact, can you see it there, the uh, King Edward the Second? Can you get that running round, please? You're going backwards, you need to go forwards. And can we have sound, please? Now you can hear now as you've added the sound, as I've said, and can you toot the castle class, please? King Edward. So we've added sound, and can we get Hogwarts going, please? Do you want to reverse it back and give it up to the coaches? Just push it a little bit. And can we have sound with it, please? There we go, have another go. Why won't it hook up? Give it a, give it a little bit of a bash. Go round and forward again. Do you want to hold it? Okay, the hand from God is going to have to connect the carriages. So, do you want to uh, just slide it down, slide it backwards? Okay, if we can get that going. Now here we have... I've added cheaper locomotives. Hornby TTS, so you've got three Hornby TTS systems going. Oh, we've lost the uh, wagons there. Do you want to stop that, bring it back and hook them up? See, I'm doing this in real time. What we should have done is we should have hooked them all up correctly in the first place. But this isn't about showing how wonderful... I would just stop it and hook them up manually if I was you. They obviously weren't on correctly the first time. Let me hook them up. There we go. And can we make sure we got sound with it as well? Okay, can you get three effects happening with the blue loco, King Edwards? So get three things going. So stoking the fire, fireman's breakfast, whatever, we can have a few things running on it. And on Hogwarts as well. So you can hear now three Hornby examples of Hornby TTS on the go. And you can see Duchess of Athol. £320 worth going round and I hope the camera picks up where's your £320 so you spend all this money on its own it sounds amazing but once you've got everything else going as I say it's like four stereos in a room and if you're the kind of individual that would have these sidings all lit up as well, they're too digital in there, 
I haven't got droppers there, but I could, have, I could have it like that and light those up as well. And suddenly, where's the money gone? And you want to, what speed setting is Duchess of Athol at? Put it up to 40, so run it bit like an express train, please. So here we go, it's running really, really well. And where does the sound go? Anyway, I just thought I'd demonstrate, because I've been saying that you can buy the expensive locomotive and it makes some great noise. But obviously, how do you set your volumes? It's My personal view, unless you like pressing buttons, TTS is fine. Thank you for watching and I hope this has been a little bit informative about the effects of different sounds in digital on a model railway. And also bear in mind, my model railway will run in full analogue as well, on either track, on any track, and you can split them. Thank you for watching. Thank you.